Hello and welcome to new guitar review. This time I have the pleasure to introduce to you an US made electric guitar, 7, seven string electric guitar. This time it's an Ernie Ball Music Man GP11 or JPXI. This is a signature version of John Petrucci from of Dream Theater, famous guitarist and magician of the six and seven strings. Okay, let's begin with the basic aspects of this guitar. This has an alder body. You can't see the wood because it's a solid painted, but it's older. We have here a mechanical tone block for improving sustain and the tone, overall tone of the guitar. We have also a maple top, again, you can't see it. Here we have Mahug selected Mahugani neck <coughs> and ebony fingerboard. Okay, let's see. We have here the tuners. The tuners are shoulder locking ones with perloid tuning peg. We have an Irvana nut. A proprietary Music Man design tremolo without locking nut. Okay. These pickups are not the stock ones. The stock ones are the Martial um, Crunch Lab and Liquifier, but these ones are Bernacle Aftermath and Cold Sweet featured in beautiful chrome cover finish which matches very well with the rest of the uh, hardware okay we have here master volume with a proprietary ernie ball knob which has rubber band and that's allowed you to uh, grip it better also we have here master tone with push pull or coil splitting and this one is for piso this is the volume for piso system I will talk about this later this selector is for the pickup switching in this position we have the bridge in this position we have the neck and in the middle we have both pickups full pickups in this mode and with the coil splitting we have only the outer coils and this selector here allows you to in this position only routing the magnetic output of the pickups in the middle position you have the magnetic pickups as well as the piezo system and on this position you have only the piezo system for doing this we have here two separate outputs the bottom one is for having sorry I will start with the with the upper one the upper one is the mono output with a mono cable a standard guitar cable you can select and here only one signal magnetic piezo or magnetic and piezo combined but only one signal mono with this one with the bottom uh, output you can use an stereo cable with you, you know it has uh, two grounds uh, or sorry two tips and one ground I think and with this cable you can have a split signal on one side you will have the piezo and on other side you will have the magnetic output so you can split uh, the signal to have two amps for example one imagine 150 150 for the magnetic um, magnetic pickups and one fender for example one special acoustic amp for the piezo 
but you can also use both inputs at, or both outputs at the same time with two cables or with one stereo cable with two with two jacks in this way you will have mono output here with magnetic and mono output here with piezo okay what else we do, we, do we have here uh, this guitar has 24 frets it's a standard scale 25.5 inches this um, this um, are a stainless steel medio jumbo frets and in between some of them you will find three types of inlays the first one is the JPXI or JP11 shield which names the model and the year of the model because you have you will have JP11, JP12, JP13 from 2011 on 2010 to 2018 I think is the last one also you will have here the solid shields which marks the regular frets 3, 5, 7, 9, 15, 17, 19, 21 and 24 with two shields and also you have here the ball family reserve inlay which means that this guitar is not the regular JP11 model instead of it this is the um, upgraded version of it with further tone with further boots than the regular JP11 okay on the top we have regular dot plastic dot inlays these aren't lumen lace on the back we will, we will find the neck plate with serial number and the Ernie Ball logo, Ernie Ball Music Man logo, and the covers. This is the Tremolo cover, this is the electronic cover. This one is for battery because the Piso system uses battery. This one is for the switch of the upper horn, this one. The, that controls magnetic and piezo uh, blending and this one is for EQing the piezo system with adding or, or subtracting mids and vas okay what else well uh, as you can see the headstock has a configuration of five top and two bottom tuning packs or tuning machines and this is approximately all uh, the weight of this guitar is about three three kilos and 700 grams I can't um, weight it because I don't have the weight machine here but it's approximately this okay uh, well and finally the painting the painting is not solid black instead of it this is a sparkle black I don't know if you can see the sparkles they are very subtle but in the night with with uh, my house lights or, or under the direct sunlight it uh, sparkles a lot it's very cool because it's not black at all it seems like more um, blue deep blue finish very cool okay and this has been the basic specs i will talk about now about playability and building construction music man is very known for having very very good instruments such as axis the alberly model the steve morse and of course this jp which it which i think is their um, most um, popular model so when you buy this guitar which is not cheap at all you, you expect to have 
a very good instrument um, with a building quality. I oh, was on building quality, and this is what I found when I took this guitar. It's very, very good, very well constructed. Uh, you can't find any visible flaws, but uh, I think it can be improved. Why? Well, first of all, we talk about the fret edges. As in my other reviews, I, I said that I have very sensitive fingers, so in the front ends, I can notice even a slightly sharpened edges. And this is what happens here. Even though when it's very good done, the sharp edges are not perfect or not as perfect, for example, as many Ivana J Cusums, uh, my own red use, or even some of my older Scurvesons. I can play, I can totally play with it. It's, it's easy to play, but if you pass your fingers sl um, slowly around the edges, you can notice it, the fret, the, fret, the sharp fret, fret ends. Rather. Uh, what else? Well, uh, another thing that I don't like but I, I understand is the pickup routine. Well, first of all, I will put out the twin bar because it's disturbing. Well, the pickup, the pickup routine is very small or not deep enough. Why I'm seeing this? Because as you can see, and as I said, these are Varnacle pickups. Varnacle pickups are a little taller than DiMarcio. So, as this guitar has been designed for DiMarcio, when you start these pickups, they can go as deep as the DiMarcio, so you can't lower the string height as much as I would desire. The action is fair, fair enough. This is very good. It's about 1.6 millimeters on 12 fret, but I think it could be lower to about 1.4. But I can do it because if I lower these strings with the bridge, the strings will touch on the last fret, the strings will touch the poles of the pickups. One millimeter more would be great for pickup routing and won't uh, subtract so much tone. So please, music man people, do it a bit deeper. Okay, the tremolo, tremolo system. Well, I'm not a fan of tremolo systems. I prefer uh, fixed bridges or full sorry full floating bridges as Floyd Rose with double double locking system okay this one uh, is made of steel it has here uh, part of it covering the um I don't know the word of so for Sayetas, I don't know. Well, anyway, with this metal part, you protect the movement part of the bridge, which are the screw here and the inner uh, spring, so your sweet doesn't go inside these components. The bridge is very well designed smooth it hasn't any rough parts and when it's properly set up it works well but you need some time to properly adjust it because it's very very sensitive to um, to variations on humidity and to temp and temperature so I would like I would rather prefer to have a fixed bridge version, but I don't think it's it's on the market. Okay, 
Uh, one cool thing about this guitar is this a small piece you have here. This is, you can see it. Okay, this is the truss rod adjustment wheel with uh, key or even a screw a screw a screwdriver. You can put it here and simply turn it. You don't need a truss cover here. Annoying truss cover. I hate them. So. This idea is very cool. It has been used by Mission on Swords, New Jacksons, and some others. It's very, very nice. What else? Well, as you can see here, due to the design of the headstock, the strings doesn't go parallel to another in depth. They are going to different angles of verticality and this is due for a proper tension here on the nut okay i don't like very much the headstock shape because it reminds me a lot to all fenders in some weird way but i don't like it very much what else i don't like too much well gloss necks I prefer to have them satin this feels good on the on the fingers but the satin is very very natural it's like silk to my fingers and I would rather prefer to have a satin neck instead of high gloss uh, about playability well the guitar plays, plays very very well. I can access to the last frets with all my fingers due this extended bevel on the cutaway. It's only in the front. On the back you don't have the cutaway. So it's very easy to access all the frets. Very very nice. Okay, on the playing position here. The pickup selector is well positioned because I can switch it very easily and also I can access the master volume without even stop playing. What it's not as good or, or as well placed as the volume is of course the master volume because I need to turn my hand to rise the pulse pull or even action the tone but it's supposed not to be in just I don't suppose to use it on live situations and of course the piezo system volume is very far so this is not for playing live what else well the piezo system uh, switching is well positioned because you are playing and you can easily switch as on a less pole nice and the guitar stands very well with a swap on the correct angle okay and now I will talk about sound well I made some very quick samples with distortion and with clean sounds for demonstrating you all the pickup and tonal possibilities of this guitar of course there are a lot of mistakes there this is only a show a showroom for you to to see the capabilities of the guitar also this guitar resonates a lot and plug Which is very good. This translates it to the overall sound. But due to these pickups, the sound is not as snappy 
as a snapper as I would rather prefer because it is uh, like this guitar was um, made set in or even neck through instead of in bolt on this is uh, some kind of dark sound mainly because this is mahogany neck and this has also mahogany and alder mahogany and alder combination with aftermath is not the best one for this wood combination i would rather prefer to have nail bomb ceramic nail bomb or even the cold the cold sweet on the bridge position so maybe i swap the cold suite with the aftermath and well that's all i think this is a very good guitar beautiful very easy to play not uh, for every pocket because it's very expensive i got it from a trade so i'm lucky <laughs> and i hope you enjoy uh, this review and see you next time bye